In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use substitution to evaluate an expression with variables. In English, we have phrases like dozen that we know mean 12. So if I said I have a dozen eggs, you would know I had 12 eggs by replacing the n n word dozen with the number it represents. We can really do the same thing with these algebra problems. We want to evaluate p times q plus 6. We're told that p is equal to 3, or represents the number 3. q is equal to 5, or represents the number 5. In other words, what we can do is we can replace the p and the q in this problem with the number they represent. As I make this replacement, I always put them in parentheses to preserve operations. p represents a 3 times q, which represents a 5, plus 6, and we close the parentheses. Notice this is the exact same problem that was written originally. I've just replaced the p with a 3, in parentheses, and replaced the q with a 5, in parentheses. From here, we can use order of operations to simplify what's left. Doing the parentheses first, 5 plus 6 is 11, and finally, multiplying last, 3 times 11 is 33, to get our solution. Let's look at another problem that's a little more involved, that follows the same idea. Here, we're told that x is negative 6, and z is negative 2. This means the x's in this problem are all representing negative 6, and can be replaced with negative 6. Also, the z's in this problem are representing negative 2. So as we copy this, replace the x with negative 6, plus z, which is negative 2, x, which is negative 6, times 3 minus z, which is negative 2, times x, which is negative 6, over 3. And again, we've got the same exact problem written down. We've just replaced the x's with negative 6, and the z's with negative 2. And now, order of operation tells us to do the parentheses first. So we have negative 6, plus negative 2, times negative 6, when we add the opposite, we get times 5, and negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. We can now begin multiplying from left to right. So we have negative 6 plus negative 2 times 6 is 12, times 5 times negative 2. Continuing to multiply, negative 6 plus 60, times negative 2, and finally, multiplying negative 6 minus 120. And then when we combine these together, we might want to add the opposite. We get negative 126 for our final solution. So what we find is these algebraic expressions with all these different variables in it, if we know what the variables are representing, we can make a quick replacement in parentheses, and then the problem simply becomes order of operations.